Hello, hello, hello. My name is Agatha. My email is unyazadachimail.com and I'm going to do a tarot reading for Keanu Reeves to know about his love life in general, not specifically, in general, for the next 12 months. I'm going to use the Lover's Path Tarot and it's going to be a by Chris Walder, Walder, I don't know her name. Uh, it's going to be a 10 card reading, which is the Celtic Cross. I'm going to also use one card from the the Nislin Sacred Traveler Oracle cards as an advice card and I'll pretend that Keanu Reeves will see this video, I don't know, <laughs> okay? So, my email, like I said, is duniazana.gmail.com uh, I am also a ghostwriter, means that you can hire me to hunt your enemies, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, if you like to give like original gift, a great fantastic present that no one no one can give to your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, son, daughter, you know, uh, family member, sister, brother, best friend. You can give them a novelette, like a 15,000 word story. It's only 700 uh, euros. And no one, uh, no one else will have that story. And I can make your family member, your loved one, the hero of that story and one day if, you, if he or she wants to sell that story to Hollywood to make like a big a big movie um, I don't know he can give you or he or she uh, a car a house <laughs> you know as a thank you the the rights will be either to you if it's the story if it's to you if the story is a gift the rights the full rights to that story will be to your loved one okay so i will never claim that story as my own and i'll never resell it again so the story is sold once and that is it if you're interested in that okay to give this wonderful gift for instance to your friend during a bridal shower a bachelor bachelorette party you can write to me to duniazat.gmail.com and i'd be delighted to work with you okay so let's see what does the future hold in terms of love for the next 12 months, more or less from September 2022 to August 2023 to Keanu Reeves? What does the future hold for Keanu Reeves uh, in terms of love, romantically speaking? Romantically speaking? What, what card is this? Oh, oppression. It's interesting. It's the tower, Dido. I'm going to... I just showed you if, uh, it, if it shows up again. It means it's important. The tower. Interesting. It might mean something breaks down in the current re love relationship that he's having. Or a coup de foudre. Like meeting someone and just falling in love. So for the, this is within the next 12 months. What does the future hold for Keanu Reeves in terms of romantic love for him, for his life, in the next 12 months? Okay. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to take 10 cards. One, okay, two, oh, three, okay, four, five, oh, six, seven, oh, it showed up again, the tower showed up again, in the position that represents him, eight, okay, nine, and ten. Okay, uh, how many major arcana cards? He has one, two, three, four major arcana. So it might be the next year, the next 12 months. <sighs> might be... Hola, Linda. It's my cat. She just showed up. Hola. Hola, Linda. And there she goes. Okay, so uh, it might be a very important year for him. Might be a very important year for him in terms of love. Now, I'm going to use one card from the Nislin, the Sacred Travel Traveler Oracle cards. What is the advice from the the I'm sorry, the, the guardian angels from Keanu's guardian angels regarding his love life for the next 12 months what is the advice from his guardian angels for the next 12 months for keanu reeves and i'm going to cut 
and I'm going to take one card, which is Vast Vistas, Expand Your Horizons. Oh my God. I don't know, date more. <laughs> I have, from what I've read, he, he doesn't have a problem in that domain. So I don't know, just go. It's just so weird, like go to different places or different planets, you know, if, if we were already in that uh, in that possibilities if we had possibilities of going to other planets in order to, in order to expand our dating pool uh yeah that could be the advice but it's more like go to different lands date in different lands i don't know or just date in in a way that you never dated before expand your horizons in terms of the dating pool this is so weird okay oh it could be oh I'm going to say it, but this is for entertainment purposes only. I do not know him. I don't know anyone connected with him. I'm going to say this. I don't believe it, but I'm going to say it. This could even be dating a guy. Oh, my God. I don't think it is, but like a blonde guy. I don't know. No, I think it's something else. It's maybe there's like a something that he never goes... Maybe this could be, he has a type, maybe he has a type of women that he likes. So maybe go beyond his type, if this makes any type of sense. I don't know, just go beyond his type. <sighs> or go in a way that he never went before, expand your eyes. I don't know what this is, <laughs> I don't know. This could also be that while he's doing something that he never did before now this could be in terms of work this could be in terms of having a hobby something else while he's doing that he meets someone he meets a woman with whom he could romantically connect okay now the uh the uh how do you say the theme this is for love okay we have the nine of coins and it's a woman here so it could represent him, you know, it could be, represent his feminine energy. The Nine of Coins is being single and being really, really happy about it, okay? This card also connects more or less with the sign of Virgo. Uh, it's It usually represents someone, a woman who has her own business, really happy with it, makes good money. She might be a brunette, because I see here this, and she's really happy with it. So I don't think this is, if this represents a woman, it not, uh, it does not represent the one that we know of that he might be dating now. Might, again, entertainment purposes only. I don't know his life. Just because it said on rumor magazines, if, just uh, it doesn't mean it's true. So the rumors are that he's dating Alexander Grant. I have no idea if that's true or not. Um, if that's true... He might be dating someone else at the same time. I don't know. Again, entertainment purposes only. Please don't sue me. Or eventually he might know a brunette who has her own business, really happy with it, makes good money, single, and uh, the type of person who doesn't really doesn't want to get married. She's like completely okay with it. Uh, or it could be him. This could represent his energy. He's really happy with being single, he has his own money, he works in what uh, makes him happy. He's cool, he's cool with it, he's cool with, with being single, if he's single. I have no idea, if, I, I, again, I don't know. Now, that which is yet not seen is the Three of Arrows. I read this in the position as that which is yet not seen, but it could be see, also be read as something that's helpful or a hindrance. I'm going to try to give here several types of uh, possibilities. One is that he appears to be happy, but he's, his heart is broken. One. Another one is that he might meet a woman within the next 12 months who seems to be really happy, but her heart is broken. Or literally, she could have heart problems. Okay? He could meet someone, brunette, happy being single, and... He will have his heart broken because she doesn't want to stop being single. Uh, or he might broke someone's heart, break someone's heart who might be a blonde or with the lighter hair because he will start dating someone else. And this is within the next 12 months from September 2022 to August 2023. 
So this could be several possibilities. He might has might have is heartbroken because he meets someone, he wants to date her, maybe they date, maybe she doesn't want to get married, I don't know. Or he meets someone and he has to leave others, who could be Alexander Grant, but not necessarily, we don't know, honestly. Or he could be dating someone and we don't know about it and he might break that person's heart. Or the person he is dating might have actual heart problems, okay? Oh, this could be also a betrayal, a betrayal. Someone betrays him in terms of, yeah, if it's a woman, he, he could suffer a betrayal. He might meet someone and then she betrays him. Ooh, I don't know. Now, the root, this is love, okay? The root, we have sacrifice, which is the hangman. Hmm, there, there might... There might be sacrifice involved in this next relationship in a way that might break his heart or the other person's heart. We have here not so positive cards. We have one, two, three, four, four not so positive cards. So if this is a new love, things are not going well. I don't think this is connected with Alexander Grant, but I might be wrong. Uh, sacrifice is sacrifice. He must do a sacrifice. In order to be with this person, he must do a sacrifice. Why is there so many blonde men? There's so many blonde men in this reading. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's four blonde men in this reading. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Is like if there's like someone else, you like someone, but there's like another party. There's a third party, and that party is a blonde man, like an Adonis, like someone really, really looking good. I don't know. And uh, Keanu is not blonde, so. Uh, okay, so sacrifice. There might be a sacrifice involved. I'm going to tell, tell you the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, which is interesting because she looks like this brunette woman. So or, uh, Eurydice uh, dies. They are in love and they are together. Orpheus is married with Eurydice, okay? And she gets ill and she dies and she goes to... At that time, this is how uh, people from that period thought, Greek mythology, we call it mythology, but now, but it was a religion. You go to the same place, everyone goes to the same place, Hades, the underground, like the, the underworld. Doesn't matter who you were, you have to be an extraordinary, extraordinary person in order to gain your place in heavens with the gods. And only two humans, as far as I know, I haven't studied this enough, only two, two humans have done that. One is Psyche and uh, um, Cupid, Cupid or Eros fell in love with her, so they got married. <coughs> uh, there was a whole thing. <laughs> it's a very long story. It's my favorite story ever. And in the end, she got immortality and she's in heaven with her husband, Eros or Cupid. Okay? So Psyche, who was human, got to be to heaven she she is in heaven she when she died she did not went to hades where everyone goes the another one is i don't remember his name was a young boy and uh zeus or jupiter the like the the head leader of the gods fell in love with him i don't remember his name right now he was the bearer he was the water bearer something like that don't remember his name he also, because Zeus, who is the, the king, like the, the leader, he fell in love with him, so he also got to be, not go to Hades, but got a place in heaven. Um, heaven, I call it heaven, I don't know if it's heaven. Everyone else, it doesn't matter how good you are. It's, it's interesting, it's love that gets you to go to not hell, but not Hades, but above it's hell that gives you immortality. I'm sorry. It's love 
that gives you immortality. It's not your good deeds, it's love. The person who falls in love with you, or whom you love. Or... But anyway, she died, and she went to Hades, and everyone is there, okay? Like the dead people, they're going to go there. And Orpheus is a very good musician, and he uh, finds a way of going there, of going to Hades, and take his wife back to the living. But there was like a catch. He cannot look at her. So he finds her. So I think it's, I don't know if it's Persephone. I think it's Persephone who makes the deal with him. Like, yeah, sure, you can take her. You can bring your wife back to the living, but you cannot look at her in the eye. You cannot look at her. Otherwise, the deal is off. So he does that. He goes, he goes to Hades and brings her back. But on the trip back to above, back to the surface, back to the living, his wife, who is a bit Eurydice, is, who's being a bit, how, how do I say, she's feeling insecure about his love. So the guy goes to he hell itself and she's, and she's insecure about his love. The sacrifice that he's making and she's feeling insecure about his love. Come on, come on. I don't think you married well. I don't know. She doesn't seem smart. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking. She's like, why, why doesn't he look at me? So doesn't, doesn't he love me anymore? She, she begs him, if you love me, please look at me. And he knows exactly what's going to happen if he does that. He will lose her. So he does that and she cannot go up. She stays in Hades. So it's a stupid sacrifice. I don't know, but it's a, if you love me, you will do this for me. So you will look at me. And he knows so well, if he does that, he loses her forever. So, who makes the sacrifice? Who makes this, this stupid decision? It's like, whatever decision you make, I don't know, it's like, I don't know. It's something similar within the love life of Keanu, within the next 12 months. Now, this could be the woman that he meets that demands something of him. Like a huge sacrifice and this, and this will make him lose love for her. Or if it's not losing, it's just being apart. Or he can make this tremendous demand. And this makes it... She loses love for him. Honestly, it feels like the woman is the one who makes this, this demand, this request. The woman makes a request that will make their love... And if this makes any type of sense. I don't know. It's, it's the type of thing that will end things. Now, the past connected to the present and the future. We have the Eight of Staves. He's living his life. He's fine. It's, uh, this is a highly sexual energy, I I'm sorry to say. Okay? That's, that's what it is. The Eight of Staves. It's like lots of possibilities, baby. Lots and lots of possibilities. Taking care of those possibilities. Having fun with those possibilities. Lots of passion. Could be with one woman. Could be with several. He's enjoying life. Now, that which is in his head or that which he wants, if this is for the next 12 months, it's love. Oh, oh it's Isis and Osiris. Uh, Isis, Osiris is the guy, he got killed by his brother Set. I think this is the story, and this is in Egypt. And Isis, who, is, who was his wife, put him back together. She put him back together. So she collected all his brother, killed him, and, and cut him into pieces, and then Isis went and found those pieces of Osiris, her husband and put them back together and basically revived him. This is like this story of being revived or being born again. Like love will make me be, will make me re be born again. This is almost religious. Like there's, there's, there is this theme of a woman will save me, a woman will make me whole. To Keanu, if this makes any type of sense, I don't know. Does this make any type of sense? I mean, you would have to tell me. I don't think he's going to do that. <laughs> uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't sue me. 
okay uh, just a little break for my ad if you like to work with me as a ghostwriter write to me to tuniaza.gmail.com i'd be delighted Fifteen thousand words a little novelette it's only 700 euros you're gonna love it it's an original story for you or for a loved one will give like a, an amazing gift a terrific present the person will own the rights and who knows it might be turned into a movie and maybe that person will give you a house you don't know you don't know so so write to duniaza.gmail.com so getting back to this reading it feels i don't know it feels like either he thinks that i need to make a sacrifice in order to be loved i need to make a sacrifice in order to be whole again whole complete it's like love saves him in the most deep spiritual way yeah this make does this make any type of sense he might be looking at someone who's really not that interested <laughs> he might be looking at someone who's really happy with being alone i don't know maybe he's looking at the wrong person i don't know now two to three months from now but it, there's this wish of fulfilling like love that you have from the uh, the myths true love like the, the one where you don't look at anyone else be, because it's impossible to look at anyone else that's the person that's the type of love that he wants again there's a brunette there's a brunette here there's a, i don't know who this person is Hmm, this could be in Egypt. Vast vistas. Expand your horizons. Maybe if he goes to Egypt, he will meet the one. I don't know. Could be. Uh, now, two to three months from now, there's the Five of Cups. We are in September. October, November, December. November, December. We have the Five. He's feeling sad, depressed. He's looking. He's probably thinking about that which he has lost in terms of love and he's not looking at the things that he gained with love he's just looking he's just, he's just looking at the bad stuff like all that he lost or he might he might meet someone this person might disappoint him and he's really sad because of that i don't know he's feeling sad now the card that represents him we have oppression which is the number 16, which is the tower. It's the tower card. Yes, tower card. So there might be something not so pleasant happening in his love life within the next 12 months. Now, this could be with the person he is presently with, or at some point he might meet someone else, and that is the person who kind of breaks his heart. Uh, or that person could also have her heart breaking because broken because I, again I see a brunette here. There's a lot of brunettes. It's a brunette woman. I don't know who this person is. Now the story of Dido in in Aeneas. Ends well. The, it, well, it doesn't. It's Aeneas. He was doing a quest. I don't know. I don't exactly know the story. And Dido helped him. Dido helped. Uh, ah, it doesn't end. Ah, no, 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 it doesn't end well. It's another story that I'm thinking of. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. He, um, and he leaves her. He leaves Dido. Dido helped him in a labyrinth. Again, there's this, this, this theme of I'm a puzzle. Help me solve myself. Help me understand myself. A woman will help me understand myself. That's the theme here. If I have love, that true love, that love that we hear from mythology, a woman will unriddle myself? Ah, this is so weird. Is this what Keanu wants? Is this what he thinks? Is this what he feels? A woman will solve me. The true love would solve my problems within or the things about me that I don't understand. A woman will make me whole, will make me complete. A woman will guide me through the labyrinth because that's what Taido is did with Aeneas. And you know what happened then? Uh, Aeneas leaves Taido completely alone on on a. Um, I think I have it here. I don't know if I have it here. Yes, I do. 
I'm gonna read from the little book. It's number 16. I should know this better. Okay, so. The queen Dido, she's a queen. This is the, the thing, the queen Dido. Of Carthage was walking upon the beach when she found Aeneas and his soldiers. Okay, she was charmed by the handsome, handsome stranger and soon fell in love. Oh, she's a queen. Okay, Aeneas loved Dido in return. Did, did he? I don't know, but he was a man with a cause larger than the love he could bear for any woman. No, 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 he didn't love her. Come on. He loved it. No, no. A man who was uh, with a cause larger than the love that he, that he could bear for any woman. No. I disagree with this. He claimed it was the God's will that he journeyed to found a new Troy in Italy. Distraught, Dido built a funeral. Oh my God. Distraught, she built a funeral pile. Okay, he didn't. I don't know if he abandoned her. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that, but I think so. She built a funeral pyre at the top of a tall tower, another sacrifice theme here, and set fire to it. As Aeneas' ship cast off into the sea, Dido climbed the tower and lay down upon the pyre. Come on! So I don't know if he left her in an island. I think I'm mistaking that with another story. So he just left her. She was already where she was queen. He just left because I have something to do. I have a cause. I cannot possibly, I don't know, take you with me for my cause. And she was so sad. She, she went to the fire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She emulated herself. I don't think that's the word. I don't know. So, again, a theme of depression. A theme of, of sacrifice. I will sacrifice, there's like a sacrifice here in terms of love. This is within the next 12 months. He meets, but then he sacrifices her because of something, or she sacrifices him in terms of something, because of something. There's like a theme of sacrifice, of making, we cannot be together because of whatever. So this could be, that's how he feels. No, this could be done to him. Or he could do it to her. I'm, I, I just, I don't know. I, I have the feeling it's more like done to him. He feels that this is like an impossible love. He must leave her and that will make her worse. I don't know. This is weird. Oppression. It's just feeling, feeling what? Feeling depression, difficulties, release. So he must release someone whom he will truly love. Because of reasons, I don't know. This is why he's depressed. He must, ma he must make a sacrifice because he loves her. Now, people around him, or this is the person herself. We have fertility, which is the empress. We have Cleopatra and Kaiser Caesar. Another brunette. Another Egypt, again Egypt. She could be from Egypt. She could be Egyptian. Uh, so this could be kind of a powerful woman. And it's interesting that the queen showed up. Queen Dido. Cleopatra was also a queen. So it's a queen energy. She could be literally a queen. Well, not literally a queen, but some, some could be nobility of some kind. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? Something connected with... Uh, I don't know, like a princess from the, the type of place like Saudi Arabia, something like that. A brunette, position of power. She's really good with being alone. She doesn't... Yet she must be... So, either he sacrifices her or she sacrifices him. We must leave her. They can't be together. Why? Is she married? Is she married to someone else? Is she married with a very powerful guy? And if 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 Kiana doesn't leave, oh, there'll be consequences. 
So it could be an empress, could be someone very powerful. I'm talking about inside. Could be someone very fertile. Could be someone pregnant. I don't know if she gets pregnant by him or someone who already has a partner who is in a marriage not necessarily of love but the marriage of interest because uh, Cleopatra, uh, I don't know if she married him but she was the lover of Caesar. Caesar was already married so she was with him she got pregnant of Caesar in a, in a way to save her country, to save Egypt didn't work out. I don't know. She might be, this person might be with someone else. She might have a cause also. She might have authorial uh, reasons as, as to why she cannot be with Keanu. She might want, be the one who betrays him. I don't, I don't know what this is. Or she might get pregnant. You know. Oh my God. She might be pregnant with her husband or this very powerful guy but it's Keanu's baby oh, 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 oh my god uh, for entertainment purposes only I don't know I don't know any people here okay I don't know I'm just reading the cards fertile woman like empress empress energy creative powerful now fears hopes and advice we have the seven of staves uh, this might be the fear of Keanu. He's afraid he cannot fight the dragon, quote unquote. There's something that he must fight in order to be with her. He's afraid that he cannot, that it's, it's, it doesn't have the, the, the power to do that, the strength to do that. The seven of wands is also uh, being clear with your principles. This, these are my principles, okay? I will never betray my principles. So maybe his fear is that in order to be with this woman, he has to betray his principles, his morals, and there's, not, there's no way that he can do that. So maybe that's the sacrifice he must do, because in order to be with her, he must sacrifice something that's so important to him. Principles, values, what he believes in, what he, you know, what he holds dear. And, and that cannot be done. So again, we're going, we're going to go to a larger quest, like Ineas said, according to the little book that he loved, Daido, but he, there's a larger quest and I cannot, I don't know, I think it's BS, but it's me. So there's something about something that's bigger than them, something that cannot be betrayed, which keeps them apart. And this for the next 12 months. Now, finally, King of Arrows, which is the King of Swords. Do you know what I'm thinking? A rational decision is made. A rational decision is made. King Adonis. Well, Keanu is considered a very handsome man for many years. And he's still handsome. So Adonis, you know who Adonis, Adonis is like the picture of perfection. King of Arrows, King of Swords, represents a man late 30s after the age of 40. You know, this is connected with, this could be... Keanu, but and I see a lot of blonde men here. Keanu is not blonde, but in terms of energy, it could be him. So, kings, they have stable energy. Okay? So, it's not a knight, it's not a page. It means that if you love someone and you show up as a king, that love is stable and it's going to endure. Endure, it's going to stay there for a very long time. Interesting that I see an error and of Adonis and he has flowers so when he has his sights on someone and it's interesting that he's looking at Isis and Osiris when he has his sights on someone he will do the necessary in order to be with that person Adonis uh, I don't know if the Adonis is the same as Apollo okay he can if this is if this is the other guy, if there's another guy, he will do the necessary in order to keep his woman, I don't know, wife, I don't know. If this is Keanu, it could be two ways I can read this. One is, he's going to his head, he's going to rationalize this in order to do what he needs to do, which is not stay with this woman. 
Okay? So he, I don't know, he has to give her up for reasons that I don't know. It's something larger. There's something unavoidable. There's something that, whatever, I don't know what it is. So he's going, he's going to go to his head and say something like, I have to do this, I have to give her up. It's the best thing to do, it's the rational thing to do. This is one way of reading. The other way is that he kind of goes to his head and he makes like a long-term plan. I'm going to be with this woman. I'll just, I'll just have to plan it very well. I'll just have to think about it. Well, I have to plan it. I have to make a very detailed plan in order to be with her eventually, could be years from now, in order to have a contract with her, a marriage contract with her. So I'll wait it, I can wait, I can make a plan, and I'll be with her. So it could be, I don't know which energy it will be. Or it could be the, the, the blonde man, the blonde man is the one with whom the brunette woman is, and he will just enforce the fact that she is his woman, wife, lover, I don't know. And Keanu kind of has to leave the scene. I, I don't know, I don't know, this is so weird. This is so weird. Seems like a foreigner to him, a foreigner to him. This is the reading that I have for Keanu's love life for the next 12 months. Please don't sue me, please, 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 please. For entertainment purposes only, I have no idea about his life. I don't know him. No one who knows me speaks to me. Um, that's it. That's the reading that I have. Again, if you'd like to work with me as a um, ghostwriter, write to dunyaz.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.